Always on, on air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. You are taking a live look from the Fox Toledo Sky Cam tonight. It has really been a mess of a day out there. Rain, now snow, and it hasn't seemed to stop. Let's check in with Bruce Slusher now to talk about that and potential flooding issues as well. Bruce. Well, that's right, Allison, looking outside, it's not that pretty. And the snow moved in about uh, 6, 6.30 this evening. And because of the uh, cooler air, we had rain earlier, as you know. And the flooding, yeah, let's look at the map right now, and we'll show you where the flood warnings are continuing. And they're scheduled to uh, drop off sometime during the morrow, tomorrow and into the tomorrow evening. But I'm seeing right now, I'd think that the National Weather Service will extend those because we've had a lot of rain over the past day and a half. And now some snow is going to melt off as well, looking for maybe an inch or two yet tonight. So uh, as we look at the uh, storm tracker Doppler Max now, we see the snow starting to finally move out. We are getting some backside lake effect snow, though, and that's going to hang around with us until about to 1 o'clock. We should reduce down to flurries and shouldn't see a lot of accumulation after that. Cool air out there starting to filter in. 39 here in Toledo, lower 30s around the rest of the area. And what's that mean for us? Well, we could see some icing tonight as that temperature continues to drop, especially on some of the bridges, overpasses, sidewalks. Do be careful because we could see a little black ice. 24 for an overnight low. The wind will be out of the north at 10 to 15. That's your Storm Packer first forecast. Thank you, Bruce. The city of Finley has been preparing for flooding round two. The recent weather has forced people to be ready for anything. Officials say 90,000 sandbags have been bought in the last week because of flooding fears. Safety Director Jim Barker says he doesn't blame people for feeling nervous when it rains like it has been today because flooding comes their way a lot get a little skittish when when it rains now and uh, hopefully we'll be able to put them at ease somewhat with a with like I say a minor flood at 11 and a half to 13 feet. Now earlier this week as you know more than 200 homes had damage because of flooding so did about two dozen businesses. Authorities in Cleveland told drivers to avoid lo waterlogged roads as many areas have been under flooding advisories. Overall, though, the National Weather Service says the flooding this weekend shouldn't be as severe as it was in some areas earlier this week. That's because the recent rain has been lighter and was falling for a longer period of time.